guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day of momtober I hope you guys are enjoying all the videos welcome to a new video on my channel or actually I should say a new series that I'm gonna do and that is going to be monthly meal prep with me so I watched um, Adeline Zook she has the she does the monthly meal prep twice a month I believe it is I'm gonna start with once a month for now and because because this one keeps me rather busy so I watched one of her videos and I got really inspired to do this on my own channel because when I was pregnant with her, I really wanted to be a little bit more homemade with all my... Sorry, she's a handful. It's lunchtime, so <laughs> we're going to get her some food. Like I was saying, when I was pregnant with her, I knew that I wanted to be a little bit more homemade with her, make her purees, and I did that. However, I got lazy. I, there's really no other no other or better way to put it. It's just so much easier to go out and purchase stuff that's already made um, as as in bars and things like that. But making homemade is so much better for your child in the sense of there's not all these extra added preservatives. I'm not necessarily organic. I'm not on any specific type of diet. I just want to be a little bit more homemade so that I can control what ingredients go into my daughter's foods as well as our foods. I know I'm a culprit of eating out a lot. Uh, Ramsey's very good at it. He prefers to eat at home, which I'm not against. Don't get me wrong, but an easy meal that you can pick up in five minutes is just as good to me. <laughs> So I need to be better at it. Um, I want to be better for her at it. So we are creating monthly meal prep with me and I'll do anywhere from three to five even. I don't know, it all depends on the recipe, how difficult one is to another. Today I'm doing four recipes technically. I did some chicken meatballs. I did some green salsa, green tomato salsa, red tomato salsa, and summer squash tots. So basically I cleaned out my gardens and I just am trying to use up with the um, tomatoes and the summer squash. I'm trying to use all those up so that I don't have a ton of wasted veggies everywhere. So that's why I'm doing the recipes that I chose this month. Again, I might do more meal prep with me videos. However, for now I'm going to stick to once a month for sure. <laughs> So if you guys have any recipes you want to see me make, or if you've seen me make anything in the past, um, I will do anything from freezer meals to snack ideas to bars to desserts, um, things that you can toss in the freezer or things that are going to last for the week. It's more of just like bulk cooking, I guess is a way to put it. So I hope you guys enjoy this series. I'm sure as I do more and more videos, I will change things up and move things around. But so without further ado, let's get to cooking. I have got a lot to do today and not a lot of time to do it. Briley's about to go down for a nap. So that's about really the only time that I feel like I can cook because she's just really cleaning right now. So let's get going. I got a lot to do.
So the second recipe we are going to be making is a green tomato salsa, which I know sounds crazy, green tomatoes. <laughs> but I did get, as you can kind of see, there are the dishes. I did get a good amount of green tomatoes here. I think the recipe calls for more than what I have. Yeah, it says two and a half to three pounds. So what I'm going to do is measure out how many, how many pounds I actually have, and then I'll adjust the recipe from there. I've never made a green tomato salsa, so I'm pretty curious how this is gonna turn out. <laughs> All right, so we are about a pound and a half of tomatoes. These were already rinsed and dried. Um, as you can see, this one's gonna be a little ripe, but I'm still gonna cut it for the salsa. It's salsa, so I feel like it's a very improvisable recipe. That's not a word, I know it's not, but whatever. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, so eyes are watering from the onions and jalapenos, but little trick when you're done cutting jalapenos. Also, I used all my homegrown tomatoes and those little suckers are hot. Hoi! They are, my mouth is still burning. That's why my eyes are watering from the onion and then the jalapenos being so hot. So, little trick, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, a little trick you can use, and I actually have an, a tomato that I just decided not to use this time, but it's gonna work perfectly fine for it. So you just cut the tomato in half and then you take the insides and you rub them all over your hands. So you, the sickness of the tomato actually takes off the spiciness of the jalapeno. It's a messy process, but it saves for when you have little kids or anything like that. Again, sorry for the dishes. I try to have them done, but the dishwasher was full. <laughs> I'm actually extremely shocked by this, but it does not say to add any water. You just mix all the ingredients up together and bring it to a boil somehow. I don't know. So I'm just mixing all the flavors together. And we'll see how this turns out. I will let you guys know. So this is the green tomato salsa, how it turned out. I read to let it sit overnight, let the flavors marinate in themselves, and then to try it the next day. So I will give you guys an update before I upload this video and let you guys know. 
All right, on to our third recipe. This is for a red salsa. As you can see, we have significantly more red tomatoes, well, and orange and yellow, <laughs> than we did green tomatoes. So we might be able to follow the recipe to a T. So these are the ingredients you are going to need. And again, I will have the recipe linked down below. I mentioned this in the first um, recipe, but these tiny little jalapenos are actually my homegrown jalapenos. And I didn't have the best growing season this year. We had a very rainy spring. It took a while to finally get hot, and then by the time I realized I wasn't watering my plants enough, it was already end of summer, so this is what I got. However, these little guys have such a spicy kick to them so I'm still incorporating them. they still have flavor they're just tiny <laughs> this recipe did call for eight jalapenos um, I know this is much more one two three four five six seven eight nine and then I'm still thinking I'm gonna do one of these guys because I feel like eight jalapenos that size I don't know I just we'll see we'll see how hot it comes out hopefully not too hot <laughs> Again, this is my first time making salsa ever. Like, even with fresh ingredients, let alone, well, I mean, these are all fresh, but even with like store bought ingredients, I've only ever made pica de gallo. So, this is all a test run. If you guys have any good recipes, feel free to comment with them down below. I would love to try them out next year with our garden goodies. two green peppers and I grew these guys myself so I wanted to just use them I'm not sure what kind of green peppers or if it was supposed to be bell peppers or what <laughs> so I'm just gonna chop, chop these up I'm only de-seeding them because the seeds are weird looking to me <laughs> again if I'm doing anything wrong feel free to leave them in the comment section below wrong we actually don't put cilantro in I thought I read somewhere that it had cilantro so that's a little weird to me but I can always add that later on I looked up like three different recipes before I decided on this specific one and there were a few things I didn't do I didn't core the inside and scrape the seeds because my tomatoes weren't that large and they weren't that seedy my orange ones were but I was not about to scrape out the seeds of all the orange ones. So I am very curious how this is gonna turn out. 
All right, you guys, here is where we are at with the salsa. Um, it looks a little tomato saucy. Uh, so we are just gonna leave it in the pan overnight. I'm gonna let it cool, and then in the morning, I think I'll go ahead and blend it and let you guys know how it is. <laughs> but yeah, it does look a little tomato saucy, but I mean, it smells good. Hey guys, so it is much later now as you can see outside. <laughs> Ramsey ended up coming home from work and we like to have dinner together and then we just spent some time with Briley before we put her down. So now we are on to our fourth and final recipe of the now night. <laughs> and that is our summer squash tater tots that we are going to make. I don't know why I keep saying tater tots because there's no taters. So summer squash tots. <laughs> Here are the ingredients. You are going to need. I am actually doubling the recipe. Um, we have a few uh, summer squashes. Some of them look a little rough, but for this recipe, it's going to work out just fine. But this guy's pretty big, and I'm pretty sure I have enough to double it, so I'm just going to go ahead and double it. Not a lot of ingredients, which makes it pretty simple. result I flipped this guy over and I flipped that guy over obviously got darker around the edges so I'm not quite sure <laughs> if these would be considered done just because I've never made them before I do think they're cooked they look delicious so I'm gonna let them cool a little bit without touching them and then I'm gonna try this guy and then I'm gonna try that guy as well and just kind of see how they turn out and I will let you guys know Okay guys, I'm looking like a mess. I'm tired. It's 10 p.m. right now. I want to go to bed, but I really want to try one of these. I think I'm just going to try this one that's a little crispier on the bottom. Here it goes. Pretty good. So much different than I thought. But good. Um, I would say better. They're not as like oily and unhealthy as they look. <laughs> but I would definitely cook them a teeny bit longer. I'd crisp them up a bit. But good. Very good. 
Alright you guys, that is going to be it for my monthly meal prep. I hope you guys enjoyed this new video and the new series on my channel. <laughs> if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so that you don't miss many more videos in the future. Also feel free to leave any comments in the comment section below. I take a little bit to get back to you guys, but I do love to respond to you guys and I love seeing your comments. I read them as they come in every day. It's just responding sometimes takes a little longer, but I'm getting the hang of all this and and daily vlogging takes up a lot of my time, but thank you guys again so much for watching. Bye guys. Hi guys, so I was just about to close out the video and I realized I never taste tested my salsas for you, so thought I would do them live on camera. Live. <laughs> I just had a couple of chips because I was drinking a rather sweet coffee, so I was trying to get like my palate to get to the savory part of it. Anyway, so I'm gonna start with the green salsa. I will say like, it smells delicious. And then the red salsa, I ended up blending it. Um, I wasn't going to off a of first impression of it. It looked perfect, but I didn't cut the tomato small enough. So you could see a lot of the skins and that was, I know, I know some people wouldn't like that. So I think next time for the red salsa, I would just make, I would just cut the tomatoes a little bit smaller and then I wouldn't have to blend it, but let's see how it even tastes if I would make it again. <laughs> All right, red salsa's first. That's actually pretty good. It kind of tastes a little like paste. It's, it's got a kick to the end of it, but it's not like super spicy while you're eating it. I'd say that's a winner. I feel like it's a little, I don't know, I feel like it's missing something. I think a little bit of cilantro would help it go a long way and maybe a little bit more salt. Okay, moving on to the green tomato salsa. I did not blend this one, but I'm tempted to. <laughs> so let's try this. It's a chunky salsa, so this is what it looks like on. That's actually very good. It almost seems spicier. Whew than the red salsa, but I think I used the same type of jalapenos. I don't know, but I might try to blend that. Oh my goodness, that's very good. You guys, I made salsa for the first time that I enjoyed. I actually wouldn't change a thing on the green salsa, green tomato salsa, sorry. It's not green chili salsa or anything, it's green tomato salsa. Wow. Well, there you guys have it. I recommend these recipes. I don't, I do recommend adding cilantro and salt to the red one. I'm not sure how much, so I can't really help out there. <laughs> but, um, but I did want to, but I just wanted to close it out and give you guys an update on how they were. And I recommend them. Definitely do. <laughs> All right. Bye. Guys. I'm coming home to you. I'm coming home.